So we'll start in about one minute. Grab your coffee, grab your water, grab your tea. All right, we're gonna start in one more minute. I know it's, it feels early today, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. So uh, get familiar with Zoom. If you're here and you can hear me, let me know in the chat. I have it open. If you're brand new, you'll find it either at the bottom or the top. You can also mute yourself. Um, we, can hear, we can hear your dogs bark and all those fun things too. I'll try to mute you as best as I can, but sometimes I totally forget. All right, we can hear you. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you. Can you hear Miley Cyrus in the background? I will stop her. So good morning, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. I feel like we are, you know, headed into the office, but we're excited because this is way more fun sometimes than going to the office. Um, despite what's going on in the world, how cool is it that we can get together as strangers using virtual calls? Uh, I think that this is one of the coolest things ever. I also have been doing this for quite a long time. So I say long time, but I've been doing this for five years now. I've been teaching virtual classes, things from how to engage with other people on the internet or how to run Facebook ads or how to use your Instagram stories. So this is totally uh, my area of expertise. So I'm thankful that I get to serve everyone for the next five days. And, you know, you get to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If something really sticks, use it. I promise you in the next five days, you will learn something if you open your heart and your mind to it. Uh, this is a bit of a basic Facebook business page class, but sometimes it's really important to go back to the basics because we forget oh wait, I have this Facebook business page, but I haven't posted on it or I don't really use it or I never get clients from it. So if you have said any of those things, uh, again, did I just mute myself? No. Uh, if you have said any of those things in the last year about your Facebook business page, I'm excited to change that in the next five days. I got a beautiful message from one of our clients last night saying her page has grown so much. Andrea, I was like laying in bed almost crying because I was so tired, but I was just, she had made this beautiful video. So I hope that she posts it in our group, in this group after showing you the results that you can get. If you even listen just a tiny little bit to me, I know there's lots of noise right now on Facebook. So how cool is it? that right now this is a positive space to be. You can focus on your business in a really positive way. Um, and you know, now's the time to learn. Now is the time to learn new skills and become an expert at your own marketing. And I say that, although I am a marketing person and I would love if all of y'all hired me eventually, right now the, re the reality is that you need to step up your marketing game so that's why I'm here. I'm here to serve you. So I'm going to share my screen with you and dive right into the presentation this morning. So it will be about 20 to 30 minutes long. I tend to talk quite a bit. So if you have to leave again, it's recorded. So just remember where you are and then I'll post it in the community after. So Zoom is pretty cool. If this is your first time, um, I'm going to open up my presentation for you. And, uh, my dogs are here. I also have two children that are also in the house during this uh, fun COVID time that makes everyone feel kind of crazy. Um, but I'm actually really excited to be here. I'm super, super pumped. Um, so I own a company called Hello Life Academy. It's been in business for five years. It has helped support a lot of women, thousands of women, grow their online business, understand modern marketing, and expand in so many different areas. So I love what I do, uh, and I'm super passionate about what I do, and I'm very, 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 very good at what I do. So this is me. We have a podcast. We have a blog. We were hosting multiple meetups in person throughout the year. We've been to Palm Springs, Miami. We were heading to Kelowna. We've hosted events at the Banff Springs. We like to support our, our you know, tourism in Canada, but we do like to travel to the heat. So hopefully that comes back as well. Frank is on my chair now. There he is. Say hi, buddy. 
So I, um, I don't actually have a background in marketing, but I have grown audiences to reach a million people. I have grown a magazine and I have a lot of fun doing it. So that's, that's the first thing is your Facebook business page has to be fun. It has to be something that you enjoy doing. And when we start enjoying things, our audience can start feeling that they can see that there's energy behind it. They can feel the passion behind it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that later, but this is me. You can find me on the internet, Megan Lockhart, or you can Google search, or you can visit my Facebook business page, Hello Life Academy. We post a lot of free resources. So there's really no excuse if you're ever feeling like I don't know how to do something. There's blogs, there's podcasts, there's videos, there's Instagram. There's so much knowledge out there. It's insane. I'm in Airdrie, the Airdrie area. I have two little kids and two dogs. One likes to work with me all the time. Uh, I like to go cycling and that's all. I don't have a really good like quote unquote dating description. That's me. I have discovered that I don't have any hobbies outside of work during the last week. I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know what else to do. What can I do? I don't knit. Uh, reading books doesn't feel very exciting right now. So I'm discovering a lot about myself during this COVID um, thing is what I'm calling it. All right. So if you're here, which you are, I want to hear where you're from. So find that little chat button and tell me where you're from. I am making a assumption that a lot of you are from Airdrie or Calgary area, but I'd really love to know where you're from. Airdrie, Airdrie, Airdrie. Yeah. Okay, good. I am so excited that there's more people from Airdrie here. I think it's important that we support one another and you will hear me say collaboration, collaboration over the next five days, probably to the point where you're going to say, can you stop saying that word? I am the queen of collaboration. I love when two businesses come together and support each other, which we're talking about today. So I do want to hear about you. The group is open for you to ask any questions, any questions at all. So even if it's not related to Facebook, ask your questions. The more questions you ask, the more I can support you. And the more questions you ask, it just, you know, there's so many other people in this community. There's 80 of you right now that can probably start to help one another. So collaboration, education, a little bit of housekeeping. The best way to, to focus energy for the next five days is to really watch these videos. And if you can't fully focus right now because there's kids or there's a dog behind you, I want you to re-watch the videos because every time you do, there's going to be something different that clicks. There's going to be something different that you want to work on. The other thing too is when you're using Zoom, if you close down some other applications, it works better. It doesn't freeze. Your internet gets more stable, uh, more stable than me. I'm also a comedian part-time. Ha ha ha. No, I'm not. This is Frank, but Zoom works really, really well. If you have any questions during this class or over the next five days, please don't be shy. Everybody else is probably thinking the same thing. They probably have the same question. There are no silly questions. Uh, some people don't know how to post to Facebook. That's okay. Just ask. What we're focused on today is I'm very intentional with my time. When I work, I'm working. So I do everything from my computer. I actually, before this whole thing happened, I deleted Facebook and Messenger off of my phone because I like to open up my computer and know that I'm working on my Facebook business page. So everything I teach you over the fi next five days is computer-based. We can absolutely talk about the phone after as well, but everything I'm teaching you is from the computer. So if you have questions or something's not working, send me a message, because if you're doing it from your phone, there might be a slightly different way of doing it. So that's basically the housekeeping for the next five days. Day one, today, Monday morning, 8 a.m. I haven't been up this early since like two weeks ago. So it feels super early, but it felt great to get dressed and to put a little bit of you know, powder on my face and to shower. And um, I know you guys can't, you're not here, but I also put perfume on, so you're welcome. <laughs> okay, today I'm talking about why your Facebook business page is so important. And in the group, I did ask you guys to drop your Facebook links. And if you don't know how to do that, ask the question in the group. I can help you. It's not as easy as we just say, hey, drop your Facebook link. And everybody goes, I don't know how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, the next five days, it's all the questions. I'm here to serve you. This is uh, one of my jobs right now over the next five days. So your Facebook business page, if you don't have one, 
now is a great time to get one. If you have one and it hasn't been very active, now is the time to reinvest energy into that business page. And I'm going to talk about why. The first reason, the really, really big key piece to having a Facebook business page, and for some of you this might be like, all right, I know, but this is really kind of that revisiting this piece. Facebook is the yellow pages of modern marketing. You remember those big yellow page books that you'd get on your doorstep or your parents would get on your doorstep or if you don't remember that, it was basically a phone book with all of the businesses listed in it. That's what Facebook is. Except for you don't have to look through a book. You have to use a search bar on the top and say, looking for a Spanish teacher, Spanish teacher Airdrie, doula Calgary, uh, Botox lady Idaho. People use Facebook to search for businesses. And if you're not using your Facebook business page consistently, your name is not going to pop up. So you also want to make sure that you have a business name and in your description on your Facebook business page that it says what you do. Because some of you might have crazy business names, which are beautiful and creative. But if I'm searching for a service, hairstylist Calgary, if it's not in your Facebook description anywhere or it never comes up on your newsfeed, Facebook isn't going to show you to me. So Facebook is the yellow pages of 2020, 2019, 2018, and it's a beautiful space. And it's also, I'm going to talk about point number three right now, but it's free. So it's how people find companies. It's how people read reviews about your company. And it's how people connect with your business. It's your store sign. So imagine, you know, well, you can imagine you have a business page and I'm in my car and I'm driving around and I see this beautiful sign with your business name. That's what Facebook business page is. So you also want to make sure that your business page looks a way that you want to represent your business. So if it looks like crap, people are probably not going to stop their scroll and crap is perspective. You get to decide. The other thing that I want you guys to know about the way I teach is I'm very open, honest, blunt. And if you have little children around, I'm not going to swear excessively. I did take a note on that, but I want you to know that I'm going to always be honest with you. People are attracted to good looking things and aesthetically pleasing items on the internet. So if your logo looks like crap and your cover photo looks like crap, people are going to say, what is this company really representing? So it's your store sign. You want to be proud of it. You want to own it. Groups are something totally different, which we're not even talking about during the next five days, but you are actually part of a Facebook group right now with all of those beautiful people in it learning about Facebook business pages. So from my Facebook business page, I brought people over to a group. That's called a funnel, but I'm not going to talk about it today. Number two, why is your Facebook business page so important? Because it's a lead collector. When people like your business page, they have said, I'm interested in this. I'm interested in your store. They've basically stopped outside of your store sign and took the time to look inside and say, I like what you've got. So if you can start taking the virtual out of Facebook and start implementing like, okay, my Facebook business page is my storefront sign. It represents my store. I'm collecting leads to my store. I'm basically, I have a lineup outside of my store saying, let me in, I want to know more, I love what you've got going on. So this is a mindset shift and a, and a way to kind of step into the modern marketing space. You have a storefront, your sign is calling people in, and you're collecting likes, which I don't like to call them likes, I like to call them leads. These are people that are interested in what I've got going on. And I'm going to teach you something in a few minutes that I think you guys are going to love because if you're ignoring your leads, that's BS. Don't ignore your leads. So from today on, we are never going to ignore our leads. And I'm going to show you how to not ignore them. So people are visiting your page. That's the second thing. This is the third reason why your Facebook business page is so important, especially right now. You do not have to spend a dollar on marketing right now. It's free to use your Facebook business page. It's free to show up to your business page, but you have to make a commitment today or maybe next week 
or whenever that you are fully committed to your business page. You are going to show up because you can't show up physically to your store. You are going to use that energy and that time and all of the education that I'm going to teach you. And you are going to show up to your Facebook business page because it is free marketing. It's free to use Facebook. I had, I experimented with this event. So this five day free course, I didn't spend a dollar on Facebook ads this time because I wanted to practice what I preach. I wanted to talk to you guys and say, you can attract leads. You can attract new customers by using your Facebook business page. And that's what we did this time. So I didn't spend any money and I'm in front of almost 80 new people. Right? So I practice what I preach. I'm also very open with my marketing and um, I've, I've, you know, I've realized that some people don't enjoy that, but I love it. What I'm doing, I will always teach you. I will also teach you guys what doesn't work and what does work. So free marketing, how many people, I want to see like a yes in the chat. If you love free marketing, if you want to use free marketing to build your business, especially now in this time of this thing. I call it this thing because I don't want to give it any energy. So this thing, how many of you want to use free marketing? Of course, yes, 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 you bet. I love things that are free. The world has gifted us with Facebook and I know that sounds crazy, but it's gifted us with a lot of free marketing platforms and a lot of us are not using them. And the people that are using them can grow really, really powerful businesses. Uh, three years ago, four years ago now, holy crap, I built a magazine, a virtual magazine without spending any money by using digital marketing. And we reached a million people, a million people by not spending any money, but by using Facebook business pages and Instagram and Facebook groups. So the first question that I ask you guys today, you need to know the purpose of your Facebook business page. Believe it or not, it's not just a place to post selfies. I know many of you aren't doing that, but it's not just a place to post things. I want you to ask yourself this morning or whenever you're catching this replay, what is the purpose of my business page? The purpose of my business page, Hello Life Academy, is to serve a lot of modern marketing resources for free to people. It's also, the purpose is also to collect leads. Leads are new people that potentially become customers, maybe not right away, and we can talk about customer life cycle later. I have a hair in my face and it's driving me crazy. So what is the purpose of your Facebook business page? If you were to ask yourself that right now, would you know what it is? Or do you need some time to kind of think, what is the purpose of my business page? Is it to post pictures of dogs? Is it to post daily tips of how to do your own accounting? Is it to post, we work with um, a Medi Spa, she's posting you know, daily skin routines while you're in your home and you can't go get facials. If you're a massage therapist, is it to teach people why they should, how they should sleep or how to do stretches at home when you can't come get a massage? You need a purpose or else people aren't going to come to your business page. And I'm going to talk about this in a second, but it might be a really cool time to reevaluate what's going on in your Facebook page or what's not going on and have, I love to come from this as a place of opportunity. You have an opportunity right now to serve people with your Facebook business page as much value as you can. So if you are a hairstylist, people can't get to your hair salon right now. Teach them things because they will remember you in three months or two months or hopefully a month when things change. They will remember you, plus they'll start sharing your content. So what is the purpose of your business page? And it's not just for sales. So today's task, I love giving people work to do, not just busy work, but intentional work. I... I hate when I go to a webinar or a class and I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. So every day over the next five days, I'm gonna give you something to work on. I'm gonna give you something to do so that you can actually do the work and then you can say, oh my gosh, I learned this new thing. Or hey, you know what? I already knew that thing that Megan was talking about, but now I'm actually doing it, which is really, really, really cool. Okay, so today's task is don't be a selfish Sally. We're going to be a loving Larry. <laughs> you can write that down. What do I mean by that? I mean, you have a Facebook business page 
but it's more important now to show up for other people's businesses so that they see you. And I'm gonna show you how to do this task. So what I'm asking you guys is you are in a community of entrepreneurs that wanna learn right now. You're in the community that I've created this Facebook group. There's other business pages in there. If you have not left your link to your business page, ask me how to do that and I will help you later today and we can put your business page. What I'm asking you to do today is find at least five other business pages and like them as your business page. And I'm going to talk about why and how right now. Okay, so again, from a computer. You want to do this from a computer. I want you guys, I love being on my phone. I, you know, my hours on my phone are excessive, but I want you to be intentional and I want you to learn the foundations from a computer so that then you could do things from your phone. A lot of the things that I teach also can't be done from a phone so that a lot of people don't know these cool tricks and hacks and things. So I'm going to find a Facebook business page and I'm going to find five of them today. And this is going to take me 10 minutes. So again, if you do not want to do these things, the momentum is you're going to lose the momentum. Everybody right now has 10 minutes. Everybody. I know we're swamped. I've got kids at home. They're upstairs. I've got dogs. I've got a house. I've got pickup, all those things. I'm with you, but I'm going to spend 10 minutes a day working on this with you guys to expand my reach. So I'm going to find five business pages to like as my page. So Hello Life Academy is going to like Pearl Aesthetics. Hello Life Academy is going, to, is going to like the massage company. Now, I start liking these pages as my business page. So if I'm driving, let's get it back into the physical space. If I'm driving by Pearl Aesthetics, or I'm driving by the store upstairs, or I'm driving by Holt Renfu, or I'm driving by Nike, or I'm driving by a store, Chapters Indigo, and I have a giant sign that says, I'm the owner of Hello Life Academy, that store starts seeing me. And that is the best way to market your business right now. The more people that can see your business page, the more visibility you're going to have. And visibility converts to leads if you're showing up on your business page with purpose. So it's all going to start to connect. You have a purpose on your business page, you start showing up to other people's business pages. They start seeing your name and they're like, wow, I love what this person's got going on. She's giving a ton of free resources and really great value. I'm going to start sharing her content. So here's why we social media is social. It's meant to have conversations with people. We're meant to use social media and our Facebook business pages to have conversations not just to post and hope that we get people to buy from us. It's really, really important to be social. Once I've liked Growing Love Birth Doula, she gets this notification. So on her phone, she sees Hello Life Academy. Psychologically, and I talk a lot about the psychologically of clicking and in marketing. Psychologically, she says, who is Hello Life Academy? She's gonna click on my name. She will because she's a good business owner. She's a great business owner. So, so far, how well is this resonating with you guys? Is this kind of coming together? I'm trying not to say you guys so much, but how does this resonate for you in this moment where you are going to like business pages as your business page and you're going to reach new people because you've become more social? Perfect. If this does not resonate with you, please make sure to ask. So here's the how. You click on this three button, you like as your page, and you will get a list of business pages that you own. So Hello Life Academy. Pearl Aesthetics last night when I was setting this up got a notification that Hello Life Academy likes you. But there's another step. I don't want to just go and like business pages because that's like going to a networking event and just quickly waving to people. So if I'm liking these five business pages and I'm just like, Hey, 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 Oh, I'm panicked. There's fear. I just have to like all these business pages. I'm really not taking it to the next level, which is the social aspect. 
So I have to do this. When I say do something properly, I feel like I'm talking to my children when I say that. There's no right or wrong, but there's a way to use it or there's a way to lose it. So when I like those five business pages, I am not going to ignore them and she's not going to ignore me. What would you do if you were at a conference and you connected with another business owner that you were actually interested in? You would exchange business cards, but then you would probably set up a little quick, hey, how are you doing? Do you wanna have coffee? This is virtual, this is a virtual way that you can meet thousands of new people by the end of this week, I'm not shitting you, by the end of this week, you can meet so many new people if you follow this strategy. And not a lot of people teach this because why would they? But this is the power, this is free, this 10 minutes to find the business pages and then another 10 minutes to be social. So 20 minutes a day on your Facebook business page, connecting with other business owners. So don't ignore somebody that likes your business page. If somebody likes your business page, you are going to say, hey, who is this? Hey, Growing Love Birth Doula, I'm so happy to see you here. You know, I appreciate the follow. Where are you from? That's the next step. And she might respond or she might ignore me, that's up to her. But by being social and by me saying hello, she sees that I am a real person, I'm not a robot, I'm not disconnected, I've humanized my business. And she gets excited and I get excited and maybe there's a future collaboration or maybe she hires me or maybe I hire her, I'm not having any more babies, but if I were, I'd probably hire a doula. So this is the world of Facebook business pages. So if you have questions, I'm gonna put a questions box in the group and you can ask all the questions there. I also saved the chat from this group so that I know what you guys are need needing to learn and to give more information. So if you think as your Facebook business page is a space to entertain and add value, you will see an increase in engagement and sales and leads. But if you see your Facebook business page, just like a shopping channel where people are coming to buy products, it will struggle. And you can even go and take a look at some of the Facebook business pages that you're following. I would bet money on, not money, maybe candy, maybe a Big Mac, maybe, I don't know, bottle of wine. I would bet a bottle of wine that they are not constantly selling. They are adding value. People want to know the companies they're buying from. They want to feel human and they want to feel connected. You have an opportunity in the next five days to really grow your Facebook business page, not just to see numbers increase. There is no secret sauce to like getting 10,000 subscribers. You can pay for them, but really they're not going to be the right people. So by the end of this week, I want you to have a hundred new leads, but real leads, people that really want to be there, people that really want to connect with your business page. So I want you to think before day two, what problem your business solves. This is more of the uh, psychology piece. This is not the technical piece, but I really want you to start thinking because we're, we're starting to create content tomorrow. I'm showing you how to actually pre-schedule content tomorrow on your Facebook business page. But before we pre-schedule content, you need to know what, what problem you solve with your business, right? So the problem that I solve is I help everyone understand modern marketing so that they can increase their sales. So the problem is people don't understand how to use modern marketing. My solution is I can teach you how to do that. So start thinking of the problem that you solve before we create content because content has to be intentional. To wrap it up, because I promise 20 to 30 minutes every day, things to remember, if you love your business and you show people nurturing and you give value, people will start to show up. But if you think it's going to take only five days, you're wrong. <laughs> it's going to take more. And I think now is the really cool time to step into this, to say patience, quality over quantity quality leads, relationships, use my Facebook business page intentionally. I no longer care about a thousand likes. I care more about quality likes. I care about the leads that really want to be nurtured and that I love and I want to work with and I want people to buy from me. Planning, learning, and implementing. The next five days, if you can step into a space of, I no longer just watch webinars or classes just to watch them. I actually take what Megan's saying 
and implement it. So I like the five business pages and I take it the next step further and I go and engage with them and I send a private message. Relationships are more important. They've always been important, but right now they are so powerful that the world is changing and I'm excited about it. You have an opportunity to use your business to connect with other business owners and grow. Whether you're a storefront or a virtual company, now is the time for relationships. Surround yourself with people who are doing things online. And that's why I create these communities because you all want to grow online on the internet and that's what you're doing. And that's the most exciting thing. So, you know, they say there's lots of sayings about surrounding yourself with the five people that you want to be aspire to be, or you are the, whatever the saying is, I'm not good with it, but I truly have watched a lot of businesses rise up and create really cool things when they're around people who are cross promoting and celebrating and saying, I love this post. So on Friday, I'm putting together a cross collaboration calendar so that Shelly can talk about Andrea and Shannon can talk about Sally and we all head over to Emma's page and we leave comments to boost her algorithm up. And that's happening on Friday. So our team will put together a cross collaboration for anybody in the group. I'll share that calendar, but you have to still be here on Friday. That's the hook. You've got to still be here on Friday or I can't cross collaborate. I can't celebrate you. We can't really support you if you're not going to support us. So now is the time. Surround yourself with people who are doing really cool shit and you will start to do really cool shit too. Review, know the problem your business solves. This is really, really, really important right now. What is the problem that you solve? Commit to seeing your business page as a value add, not just a place to sell. It's a beautiful place that people can come, they can connect, they could be social with, social with, which social media is social. If you're not being social and leaving comments and engaging with people, people are really going to not start to see, they want to see your business name pop up on their newsfeed. Day two is tomorrow, 8 a.m. So early. I love it so much. I'm so thankful that you guys are here today and that um, you're willing to learn and hang out with me before I finish my first coffee. I feel like it's brave of you. So day two, we are going to schedule your next two posts. I'm going to show you how to use the new Facebook publishing tool, which seems to be very confusing for a lot of people because they've changed so many different things. But by pre-scheduling your content, you don't have to open up your Facebook business page every day. You can plan for the marketing that's coming ahead it, 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 like for the next week or two. So before we join tomorrow, I really want you to think, what is the problem that I'm solving and how can I add value to my audience? And I'm going to show you how to pre-schedule two posts so that you can leave that call tomorrow and continue to pre-schedule your posts. If you can go ahead and share this community with other people, I would really appreciate it. Um, you know, I love coming from a servant heart and I love adding value to other business owners. It is part of what I do and what I live for. Always believe in your passion. Please do not let that go. Just, you know, when, when a time when so many people are anxious and coming from fear, your heart is the most important part right now of, of your business. If you know that you love what you do, celebrate that. Thank your audience. Tell them how much you appreciate them. And I, my commitment is that you will leave these five days feeling that passion again and feeling confident and comfortable that your business is going to be okay. So I have a little favor, a little call to action. So a CTA, I'll talk about CTAs often over the next five days. CTA means call to action. Whenever you do a post, whenever you do something on the internet, you want to tell people what to do because everybody loves to be told what to do. My ask from you today is to go to my business page if you liked today's training and leave a review on Hello Life Academy's business page. If not, that's totally fine, but I will ask you every single day. So I'm going to save the chat and check out what kind of questions you guys you had today. Uh, but I so appreciate you. I'm sending you so much love, sending you so much light, sending you so much heart. I know that you all have a bigger picture and a vision for your business. And now's the time to do that. Don't lose focus. This is the time where we get to either rise or we don't. And I'm choosing to up level and bring y'all with me. Okay. So I love you so much. I'll see you guys. I guys, I can't stop saying guys. It's like a whole thing that I'm trying to work on. I appreciate y'all. And I'm excited for the next four days.